challenge with respect to gender parity, the biggest challenge is leadership support. And it's really surprising um, that CEOs are not more at the forefront uh, driving uh, the importance of a, of a diverse uh, workforce, of diverse teams, diverse boards. Um, I think I would love to see much more vocal participation from the CEO community on this issue. We've just done a survey along with the Future of Jobs Council on work in the, in the future, uh, 2020, and in terms of enablers for gender parity, uh, support of leadership is, is among the lowest. Uh, so that's a concern and a challenge. Uh, I think one of the things that came out yesterday was men need to stand up and say when they're faced with a panel of five men or a leadership team that has ten men and one woman, they need to stand up and say, no, this doesn't make any sense and diverse teams make better decisions and work better together. I think in terms of the uh, opportunity presented by the fourth industrial revolution, uh, mobility is a huge enabler and a huge opportunity. I think the recognition uh, that workplaces need to become more flexible, more open, more accommodating for both male and female and quality of life, I think that's a uh, positive development. And I think in terms of the uh, ubiquitous internet uh, mobile communications, uh, Internet of Things, interestingly, in our survey, didn't come out so high, um, but I think that will potentially be impactful and be another enabler uh, towards a more uh, balanced workplace and a more balanced uh, governance structure and overall society.